Hi guys, welcome back to The Hungry Soul. I'm Shauna Jordan. Today we are gonna make zucchini bars with cream cheese frosting. Um, a lot of people tell me that these are very cakey and that they consider them a cake. I think they're somewhere between a bar and a cake. They just get like to a medium height. They're so moist from the zucchini. The cream cheese frosting just makes them incredible. So let's go ahead and go over our ingredients and let's make some. Um, for our wet ingredients, I've got some oil, some eggs, some sugar, and some vanilla. For our dry ingredients, I have some flour, um, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and then of course the star of the show, the zucchini. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wet ingredients all incorporated together. And then of course I'm going to do the dry. I have got a pan over here that I've already greased and floured. And I'm just going to kind of whip these eggs up a little bit before I start to mix it into everything just to make sure that I don't get any weird stringy things in my bars. Sometimes the whites, if you don't mix them up good, do weird things. So. Make sure you get it mixed together really well. Or as we say around here, whip it, whip it good. All right, now the dry. And then I'm just gonna borrow this whisk here and kind of get that all incorporated. And then put them together. to my spatula there. Now it's going to seem just a little bit dry compared to normal bars or cake mixes that you make, but um, once the zucchini gets hot in the oven, all the juices are gonna come out and it's gonna liquefy. So if I were to add moisture now, then I'd have way too runny batter. They would take forever to bake. So now that I got it all together, throw in the zucchini and then just fold that into there. You wanna be careful not to over mix your flour. You don't wanna overdevelop the glutens. And that's how it should look. So now we're going to go ahead and get it in the pan here. We're going to bake it in a 350 oven. We're going to set our timer for about 20, 25 minutes and then we're going to check it. Just like any other cake, you want it to bounce back. So when you push in, it should come right back into shape. If it dents in, then it's not ready. And that's it, just give it a little shake, make sure it's even, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven, and when we're done, we'll cool them and frost them. Okay, so our zucchini bars are all done now, and they're all cooled, so we're gonna go ahead and frost them. I like to use cream cheese frosting, and you can find my cream cheese frosting recipe at my website, which is shaunajordan.com, and then you can get the measurements and ingredients for the bars as well, and you'll find all kinds of other delightful recipes there. I'm going to use an offset spatula because the top tends to roll up with frosting sometimes and this will help prevent that. Okay, so they're all frosted now and something special that I like to do is I put just a little bit of cinnamon in a sifter and just very lightly add that flavor. I don't want to make cinnamon frosting by any means, but there's just something about adding this that just really blends well with this recipe. And then after the cinnamon, then I want to do some fresh nutmeg. And I do recommend grating your own. It's amazing aroma compared to pre-ground nutmeg. 
Now you don't have to put that on there. You can put anything you want on there or nothing. These are even good with just powdered sugar on them. You don't have to frost them. So anyways, I hope that you'll make them and, and enjoy them. And you know, everybody doesn't know what to do with zucchini every year. People give it to you and you just can't think of what to do. And here's a great recipe. If you want to try a brownie recipe, you can find that on my website as well. And that's made with zucchini. So anyways, I wish you all the luck. I thank you for tuning in and I hope that you will live, love, and cook with passion, my friends.